Dear students, welcome back to my YouTube channel MCB ChemTube. This is an online chemistry tutorial and you can access my previous videos either visiting my website or from my YouTube channel. So we were discussing about some topics in organic chemistry related to halogen compound in this series. And today's lecture I would like to discuss a very important role sides of rule and its example and application. So before going to the topic, let me recap our pre summary of our previous lecture that is SN1, SN2 and E1 and E2 reaction. And when you are using this kind of substrate, methyl primary halide, secondary halide and tertiary halide, it depends on the nucleophile you are using, the type of, type of substrate and the solvent and living group. The possibility of substitution and elimination will differ. So let's see, in the case of first one, methyl halide, it gives SN2 reaction normally and in the case of primary halide, it can give both SN2 or E2 reaction and it gives primary or mainly gives SN2 except in the case of hindered bases are using. If hindered bases are using, it preferred to eliminate E2 by E2 and in the case of secondary substrate, it gave mainly uh, SN2 with weak basis and it give E2 with a strong basis. So the third one if you are using tertiary substrate it can either give SN1 or E1 or E2. What are the conditions preferred for these two and there is no possibility of SN2 reaction in tertiary substrate and in if you are doing this all volises it give either SN1 or E1 that is in the presence of alcohol or water and how do you differentiate this SN1 and E1 usually at a lower temperature it prefer SN1 and higher temperature it prefer elimination and when a strong base is used E2 reaction predominate that is the summary of substitution and elimination reaction and next we will move to the today's talk that is Zeitz of rule. Okay. Uh, what is Zeitz of rule? Here I have given two examples. One is 2 bromopropane. In the presence of strong base, it gives propane. Second one, and tertiary butyl halide. In presence of base, it gives isobutene. And in this case, there is a possibility of only one product after the elimination. Because all these three hydrogens are same here and these two hydrogens are same. So dehydrohalogenation gives only one product. So what happens if you have an, two different hydrogen, beta hydrogen, what happens in the case of dehydrohalogenation? So it can yield more than one product. Here in this particular example 2 bromo 2 methyl butane you have a two types of beta hydrogen this is actually primary beta uh, hydrogen this is secondary beta hydrogen so there is a possibility of elimination of this beta hydrogen and HBr and it form a product like this 2 methyl 1 butane and this hydrogen also can eliminate it and it form this product. So in such cases what would be the uh, major product or stable product? If you are using small bases major product will be highly substituted product. One, the, in this particular example we have seen this product 2 methyl 2 butene is more stable so you get this as a major product. And why it is major product? Because this 
alkene is tri substituted alkene this one is di substituted that means here in this double bond is substituted to 1 2 and 3 3 substituted uh, alkene and this one this double bond is substituted to 1 and 2 alkyl group so it is di substitute so you you know already know that the stability of alkene is like this if you have a tetra substituted alkene that is more stable than this is tri substituted this is di substituted this is mono substituted or oh, this is the alkene stability order and the reason for this stability is hyperconjugation effect okay so here tri substituted will be major product so, whenever an elimination occurs to give the more stable or more highly substituted alkene, chemists say that the elimination follows Zaitsev-Rohe. And this is named after Russian chemist and Zaitsev. It is also spelt as like this. So, this more substituted product uh, the reason for the formation can also be explained based on energy diagram. This is the energy diagram of this the, uh, the previous reaction. And here reaction coordinate, you have to take an x-axis and free energy along the y-axis. And this is a steady material and this is the product. You can see here, there is this one is a less substituted one. This is highly substituted one. And this is corresponding to transition state of highly substituted one. And this is the transition state of less substituted one. And the energy of product of high substitu highly substituted one will be, you know, uh, lower, highly stabilized. And transition state also will be stabilized. The reason for this stability of transition state is also can be explained. You know, this double pointed character carbon can be stabilized with more substituent. Here you have a three substituent. Here you have only, uh, you know, one substituent. So, this transition state will be highly stabilized. Okay. So, that is the reason for a highly substituted product will be more stable. And it's an example. Can you predict the reaction of this compound? Which product we will get after dehydrohalogenation? There is a possibility of elimination from here and from here. And which is highly substituted? This one is highly substituted. Okay. B is the major product. So, when you are using uh, second example, here you are using strong base hydroxylate anion. Uh, hydrogen can be eliminated either from here or from here. So, there is a possibility of two products. But which one will be the major? This one will be major. This one. This is called Zaitsev product. But at the same time, there is a possibility of another minor product like this. And this is minor product in this case. And But when you are using you know, isopropoxide, a bulky base, uh, the major product will be this one. That is, that product is called Hoffman product. So, less substituted product is called Hoffman product. So, you are using strong bases, you get zase of product in this case. If you are using bulky bases, you get Hoffman product. And another example, to draw more to methyl butane. In this case, if you are using tertiary butoxide uh, base, that is a bulky base. And uh, in this case, uh, here the hydrogen for the substituted, highly substituted product is this hydrogen. So, this is secondary hydrogen. And another possibility is accessing this primary hydrogen. But problem with this secondary hydrogen this is a very bulky group, it cannot access this hydrogen very easily. So, normally uh, this product that is the less substituted one, this is this one, this is major, this will be major. The highly substituted one will be minor. So, if you are using uh, bulky base, less substituted, 
product will be favored. And this is another case, 2-bromo-3-methyl-1-phenylbutane. In this case, hydrogen can be eliminated from here or from here. So, this will be the uh, product. If it is eliminated from here, you get this product. If it is eliminated from this hydrogen, beta hydrogen, you get this product. Can you imagine which one will be the major product here? Here, this one will be the major product. Do you know the reason? Because this double bond is conjugate with this benzene ring. Even though it is, you know, uh, this is uh, less substituted one, but still it is major. So, here this one is a minor product. Double bond is not conjugated with benzene ring. So, this can stabilize, this conjugation can stabilize the product. Okay, there is a rule in the case of even reaction, in the case of uh, alcohol and uh, in the presence of sulfuric acid, it gives a product like this. So, what is the mechanism of this reaction? This hydroxyl group get protonated first and form a protonated alcohol. Then it leave, this protonated alcohol will leave and it form a carbocation here. Then a rearrangement, alkyl shift take place and it form a tertiary carbocation. Then finally, uh, in this tertiary carbocation, there is a 2 beta hydrogen atom and which will be the most favored one. It can eliminate here and it form a product like this. This hydrogen can be eliminated form a product like this. This is the observed product because this is highly substituted. Next example uh, for such similar reaction is this alcohol and this alcohol. Can you predict the major product? Here it can eliminate this hydrogen and this hydrogen also can be eliminated. So product will be uh, possible product are this one but this is major one. And in this case, this one will be the major product. This is less substituted. This is highly substituted. Okay, Hoffman rule means uh, elimination usually give less substituted product that follows Hoffman rule. So, there are two cases. When you are using bulky bases that we already discussed in previous slide, it give a less substituted you get as a major product. E2 elimination always gives a sub except in such cases. This is the exception. And the bulky group have difficulty in removing secondary hydrogen atom because of crowding at transition state. So, it removes one of the more exposed hydrogen that is primary hydrogen. And second case in Hoffman product is elimination usually occurs in the case of substrate with a positive charge. So, th that means elimination of quaternary ammonium hydroxide when living group is bulky group like this, when living group is like this. So, in this case, usually we get um, as a major product is less substituted. In this particular example, you have a 2 beta hydrogen. This is a living group. This is the 1 beta hydrogen. This is 1 beta hydrogen. And if get el this eliminated, you get, uh, you know, this product that is uh, this one. And this hydrogen get eliminated, you get this as a major product, uh, this product. And I mean these two, this one is the major. Do you know why? Uh, because here, uh, because of this positive charge, this hydrogen will be acidic and there is a possibility of elimination. And here, this hydrogen is more acidic when compared to this hydrogen. Do you know why? Because here there is a one alkyl group, this can inductively donate because of that plus I effect, this acidicity get decreased. So, this will be more decreased. That is why you are getting less substituted product. That is the Hoffman rule. So, in summary, uh, Zaysef rule uh, usually applies in a E2 reaction unless the base or living groups are unusually bulky or living groups are, uh, you know, positively charged. And even also into follow Zaysef orientation and in even reaction, mostly Zaysef rule appears, applies. And Zaysef rule means the usually dehydro elimination of alkene give highly substituted product. And uh, Hoffman rule is, uh, uh, it gives less substituted product. That's all about Hoffman and uh, 
there is self-elimination. Okay, thank you for watching.